Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. For today's video I'm going to be talking about my March favorites and I have quite a few favorites to talk about so I'm going to get right on into it. So my first favorite is actually an article that was in the Allure magazine for March and it was called All the World Over and basically this writer went all around the world visited five countries that had really different um, beauty routines and she copied them and just kind of wrote about her findings and I found it was really interesting she went to India Russia South Korea uh, France and Kenya I believe and um, yeah it's just really interesting to see how women all over the world um, do their beauty routines because they're all quite different and uh, she just wrote about her experiences and I thought it was really cool so my next favorite is actually a product that I've had in my collection for about a year now now and this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills cream contour kit and it's pretty well loved as you can see but I've really been into using it again lately I used it a ton about a year ago when I first got it for months and then for whatever reason I just kind of switched over to powders again and I was using those for a long time but I broke this out this month and realized how much I actually love it still um, so yeah I mostly just use this shade here to highlight with um, which is definitely the most used as you can see and then I like to set kind of under eye area with that yellow um, and for contour I do prefer this kind of middle shade there um, but yeah I really like this it's really long lasting and it's not as intimidating as it seems I was kind of nervous to try cream highlighting and contouring products but they're really not that bad I find I blend them in with a damp beauty blender and it works really well uh, so yeah I've been using this a ton this next up is a foundation favorite this is the L'Oreal Lumi Cushion Foundation and I've blogged about this in the past but now that spring is here I've been really wanting a lighter base um, for most days so this has been my go-to I find Find that it gives pretty good coverage considering that it's from the drugstore and it's a cushion foundation and it's long lasting it gives my skin a really dewy finish which I love this time of year and yeah I'm just really happy with this foundation so it's kind of been a really good go-to of mine when I don't want such a heavy foundation my next favorite again is another oldie but goodie this is the Tatcha luminous dewy skin mist and I loved this in the summer I was so obsessed with it and then again for whatever reason I just stopped using it other products came into my rotation um, but I've been gravitating back towards this and I just love it um, I find that I really like spritzing it on my face in the morning it just is really hydrating uh, my skin's still quite dry so I really appreciate kind of that boost of hydration but it also feels really refreshing and helps wake me up and the packaging is just gorgeous so that's a win too this one's definitely a splurge item but a really really nice one to treat yourself so to. my next favorite's a little bit different I don't tend to talk about deodorant on my blog or my channel but I really like this one from biotherm it's their deo pure roll-on anti-perspirant uh, with mineral complex and I really like this it drives quickly and it goes on nice it feels really refreshing um, they also have it in a stick form too though if you prefer and then I also believe that they have a spray too so they've got kind of all three um, so anything that you kind of prefer it has a really nice light scent to it so it's not overpowering and it'll go with you know any fragrance that you want to wear you don't have to worry about them clashing and yeah it just has a clean scent and uh yeah, it does what I need it to do all day. So that's always important. My too. next favorite is a Clarisonic brush head. This one's new, so I didn't show you my grimy one, but it's the Radiance brush head from Clarisonic. And I really like this one. It's gentle enough on my skin, um, but it still works really well. And it just helps my skin look that bit glowier. I find that with winter, my skin can look really dull and come spring, I just want a bit more glow, a bit more radiance. And uh, this brush head definitely helps with that. My next favorite is the Essie Gel Setter Top coat and I've been hearing really great reviews about this on other people's blogs and YouTube channels and so I thought I would check it out for myself just because Essie is one of my favorite drugstore brands for nail polish and it's really great it really helps um, the longevity of my nail polish so it's lasting a lot longer than it would if I didn't have a top coat on or if I just had another top coat on um, it is a gel setter so again it works best with a gel polish from Essie but it works well with any polishes I actually haven't tried it with a gel polish I've just been using it with my regular nail polishes but it's been lasting the better part of a week without any kind of wear or chipping kind of by the weekend I'm starting to get that that usual wear around the tops of my nails but I haven't had any major chipping with this so I'm really impressed my next favorite is the Aderma lipstick and this is just a lip balm I've been wearing it at nighttime um, when I go to bed and it's just really helping repair my lips they feel so much more moisturized um, they've been really chap 
this winter and I'm still kind of dealing with that. So this has been a huge help, especially because I'm somebody who likes to wear liquid lipstick a lot, which can be super drying on my lips. So I find that putting this on at night definitely helps offset the dry products that I'm putting on my lips throughout the day. So um, yeah, it doesn't really have too much of a scent to it and it's clear, it's comfortable to wear and it hasn't been breaking out my skin. Um, sometimes if I wear heavy lip products to bed, that can be a bit of a problem, but it hasn't been an issue too much with this. So that's a good bonus for me too. Next up is the L'Oreal Hydrogenous Moisturizer for Extra Dry Skin. I feel like you guys are probably sick of hearing me talk about this because I did a blog post on it. I've mentioned it in my spring skincare favorites. It's been in my Instagram stories. I am obsessed with this. It is the nicest texture. It's so light, but it's still so hydrating and it smells really good too. I've been using this day and night. I love it. Um, it goes really well on your makeup, which is important to me, but it's also hydrating enough without being heavy. Um, so it's not breaking out my skin, but it is keeping my moisture levels in check. So um, I definitely recommend checking this line out. They have a moisturizer for any skin type and the packaging is so luxurious. So definitely check this out if you haven't already. My next favorite is from NYX. This is their felt tip liner. This is a brown liquid liner pen and I really like this a lot more than I thought I was going to. I'm a black liner girl. I only tend to wear black um, but for days when I'm kind of doing like a more minimal makeup look or kind of like a no makeup makeup look but I still want liner this one's perfect. Um, it's still pretty dark for being a brown so it's still kind of in my comfort level um, but it does look not as harsh maybe as a black liner does and uh, yeah it just goes really well for kind of more subtle looks and I really like this it applies easily and it's long lasting it doesn't flake or fade throughout the day which is great and it has a little grip on it so it's easy to kind of hold while you're applying my last favorite is from Stila this is their stay all day contouring bronzer for face and body and I really like this this is the lightest shade obviously because I'm super pale um, but it works really well I have it as my contour today um, but I also find that I can use it with a light hand um, to use as an all-over bronzer too. Um, so it's pretty versatile and it's really buttery. It goes on nicely and it's not too shimmery or anything. Um, it's more of a matte uh, finish so that's really nice too so you don't have to worry about like big chunks of glitter on your face which sometimes can happen. Um, but I really like using this too with the Stila uh, Wonder Brush for face and body, especially when I'm contouring. It's like the perfect duo. And it has a huge mirror, which I'm covering up um, so that I don't blind you. But um, yeah, the packaging is really nice and I'm just really impressed with the formula of this one overall. So that is everything for my March favorites. As always, let me know in a comment down below what you loved the most during March. I'd love to know. I'm going to leave a link to my blog and all of my social media platforms down below. So go ahead and check those out if you haven't already. Please subscribe and I will see you guys on Monday with another video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.